I think it's safe to say the dust has finally settled. LeBron has signed, or rather agreed to play for because nothing's actually been signed so far. The Lakers, as I'm sure you know, and the world has reacted. That's right, Ohio's prodigal son has relocated to Los Angeles, like the Paul brothers. It's also pretty cool that the Lakers got the money to sign LeBron by making trades with the Cavs last spring. Oh well, Cleveland. And if you recall, I correctly predicted this signing on stream. So. My prediction actually is the Sixers. Like, well, if we move into like, which I think we should do like right now, that like where we actually think that he will go, I think that he, I mm -hmm. think that I have this gut feeling that the Lakers is no longer happening, and then he's gonna go to the Sixers. Sixers, Lakers, same thing. The reason why I waited a little bit to make this video is I wanted to see how the rest of the world would react exactly, and in about 24 hours, the world really got rocked by how Boogie Cousins responded. What the fuck is this? Couldn't even give LeBron Jimmy one whole day in the spotlight. A lot has happened since, and also nothing has happened. Looking at you, Kawhi Leonard. Fine, I'll admit, it's not your fault. Spurs, just trade him already. Regardless of how LeBron performs, NBA history has already been made with this move. Not even touching the LeBron versus Jordan debate, he's one of the best players to ever step on a court. Wait, I guess he's not. Never mind. Let's take a music break. Do wait, wait, that's my best friend. Go best friend. LeBron James, you my best friend. As you'd expect, people have their opinions on this move. Opinions that are likely to be used against those very same people in just a few years' time. When he retires from the game, we're gonna look back at this free agency, and we're either gonna say, he got it right, or he should have gone to this team instead. Isn't that how every single free agent signing in sports works? Like, you could pose that exact question to thousands upon thousands of sports signings. Oh look, this seems interesting. Look at this, you beat cancer and then you went back to, to Cleveland? Boo, it's time to thrash your bronze score. That's the difference between you and me, Morty. I never go back to Cleveland. Holy shit, this guy's taking LeBron to Golden State. They just did another three feet and they didn't have a single loss. No. Now we're gonna take to Twitter to document how people are handling the NBA history in the making. What a bandwagon. J just get out of here. Okay, this is actually kind of impressive. We're getting better over here, but after this last guy, we, we probably had nowhere to go but up. Thank you, guy. Thanks for this. Why are they wearing orange Laker jerseys in this? And won't LeBron be wearing 23 anyway? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this detail at the beginning of the video. Yeah, LeBron doesn't matter. This was the move that puts Boogie and the Warriors into the grave. All the Lakers need is LiAngelo Ball and they'll be the actual greatest group of people to play basketball together in recorded human history. And it's gonna happen. Are there any stupid LeBron related clips left I could use to close out this video? That feeling when you may not be the greatest Laker ever anymore. I don't think so. Yo, Cav fans, fuck Cleveland. Fuck Cleveland. Fuck Cleveland. Fuck Cleveland. Fuck them.